Welcome back everybody, I am Primal Nips, and I am bringing you a video today on how to play one of my favorite characters, Umbra. So I will go over the basics, her skills, her weapon, her passive, I will go over what loadout I use and why I use it on her, and then I will go over how to play her. So let's start out with the information. The Flame Shield is her passive. Once her health drops below 20%, you will gain an overshield with 300 health. Now that is awesome. Nobody else has something like that that automatically protects you when you get low. Great skill. The weapon, Staff of Radiance. So what will happen with that is you will hold the staff up and a beam will go from your staff to the enemy. And that will damage them as well as heal you. And the talent. We got Ombra's staff slash spear. The talent is she stabs people with it instead of burns people with it. If you have your heat up, it will do extra damage, but you can only use about four stabs for an entire heat bar. To skill one, we have Sunspot. Summons a sunspot that deals 40 damage a second and can heal nearby enemies up to 33, which obviously will be increased as you level up in the game. Same with able to place two sunspots. If you have the mutation, you can place three. Skill number two is Solar Wind. This will be your wave clear and burst damage, I guess. <laughs> it channels a fiery wind that quickly build heat, so your heat bar will raise quicker while you use this, and it does a lot of damage to enemies. And then the ultimate extinction event, you're going to summon up this huge crystal that will sit in the back for about six or seven seconds, I'm pretty sure, maybe five, but uh, yeah, it will blow up, dealing huge burst damage, great ult, I love it. Alright, so I'm going to go over what I build for her and why. I start out with the left side of the skill tree, making the sunspot do more damage. Uh, second one, I definitely go with the left, the increased healing per second for health regeneration. Third one, the mutation on this one is unlocked at range. Well, if you don't have it, I always go with the lifesteal. The lifesteal is great on her staff. If not, go for the middle one because being able to fuel your sunspots is what makes Ombra unbeatable. For this one, I always go on the right side. The 100% damage, depending on how close somebody is in proximity to you. That one's super overpowered, especially when that's your wave clear. Now, this one is where you unlock the ult. And you get to choose whether your passive grants you movement speed or damage. Most of the time I do damage. The movement speed, I always get away when I'm Umbra. I mean, your passive activates, you drop some spot. Easy as that. You get away. This one, I always choose one more active sunspot. Having three instead of two is a huge bonus. And if you don't have that mutation, I always go with the cooldown time. Cooldown reduction in this game is super overpowered. Now this one, the mutation, is also good. It turns the staff into a ranged attack. So instead of using it as a spear to stab people, you will do the same motion, but a big fireball will come out of the end of it, and it will do way more damage than your siphon. So, it is very useful. Last, here we have the Sunspot Health. Definitely do the right side on that. Sunspot Health is super important. The more health your Sunspot has, the more heals it can dish out, the more damage it can dish out. So, you know, cooldown time is nice, but it's not that bad anyways for it. So, definitely the Sunspot And then this one, we have increased Solar Winds damage by 15%. Always use that. Solar Wind is your burst damage or skill. So you want all the damage you can get on that. 
And this one, definitely the stun on the left is the most important since it deals lasting damage once your ult uh, erupts. It will stun them there and it'll make them take all the tick damage before they can move out of it. Super great. Alright, and real quick, I am going to go over my gear for her and why I use this comp for this setup. It is this one right here. Sometimes this one. It depends. I like to use the gold uh, the gold gain one because it also has skill damage. Skill damage is super important for Ombra as well as healing power. Those are the main two things you want to spec. Because you have your two burst skills, your ult and you have your solar wind, which if you have bonus skill damage, those just wreck people. And then your healing power, your sunspots, healing yourself even, it, the healing power all ties into that. So boosting that as well as skill damage on her is most important in life. Alrighty guys, we're gonna start out with a 1v1 against Rev, just to show you guys that I'm not blowing smoke. Ombra really is this powerful, even with all of Wrath's life steal, he can't do anything. He whittles us down to our passive, and we can just jump over the edge and pop a heal, and heal back up to full before he can do anything to us. And as you guys can see, the stats speak for themselves. So let's start out with his basic attack. It's a beam that goes from the staff to another player. It is really useful wherever they walk, as long as they're in your range, the beam will stay on them. Not only does this damage them, but it heals you as well. Making it super useful if your shield is down, your health just goes up as theirs goes down. Now, let's cover his left trigger. You don't want to use this most of the time, you want to stick to the beam. But, if somebody is one shot, you can use the spear to hit him. You mostly want to use the spear on stationary items like turrets or accelerators, or things that you can just stand there and hit like waves. Once you reach level 7 on Ombra, you will unlock her ranged attack. As long as you have the mutation unlocked, this is super useful because you no longer have to be right up in their face while you're fighting them. You can do it from a distance. This attack is also very useful on turrets, sentries, the accelerators, anything, really. It does more damage than your siphon, so if you don't need the life steal, use the ranged attack. And now let's talk about the passive. Once Ombra's health reaches 20%, an overshield will pop up, giving you a chance to get out, give yourself some heals, and get back to full health before anybody can finish you off. Now we're moving on to Ombra's main skills. This first one is the Solar Wind. I'm demonstrating it because it is most essential from the beginning of the game. This will be your wave pick. This is where you will get your early XP from the game, and it is how you will get fed with Ombra. Now on to the Solar Ball. This is where the heals come from. You want to place these behind something where the ranged players on the enemy team can shoot them. 
Therefore, they will just sit there and be your in-battle healing station. Now once you get rank 12 on Ombra, you will unlock her final mutation, letting her use her staff the on the heal balls minion. to Destroy. bring them back up to full health, and just sit on them, help heal your team up to full. This is also useful for wave clear, as you can see, super powerful, the sunspot just keeps damaging every single thing at the same time, it's like an AoE attack basically, that never ends, because you're attached to it, keep filling it up. It also acts as your in-battle healing station for your team. This is what makes her a good healer, in my opinion, on the level of Nico. Is she can heal the whole team at the same time, refilling the balls. And if you have the mutation unlocked, you can place three of these down at a time. So basically, it's better than any healing station you could build. And now we'll move on to the final part of our video, the ultimate. What you do is you lay down a giant crystal and it explodes, dealing very, very high burst damage. So what you want to do is you want to place it behind people so that when they get weak, when they're backing up from you, that they walk straight into it as such. Thank you all for watching. If you found the video useful, please be sure to give it a like. Be sure to tune in on twitch.tv slash primalnips for the live stream. Thank you all for watching.